Ship's log USS Darwin, Commodore Drew Queen recording. We've abandoned our survey mission to assist in the search for the Starship Falcon which mysteriously vanished during a mercenary attack. Security forces from Matu Alpha have apprehended or destroyed most of the attackers, but there are still a few ships that are unaccounted for and presumed at large. Report, Lieutenant. I'm picking up subspace chatter at the edge of sensor range. I think it's the mercenaries. Can we listen in on what they're saying? Yes, sir. On screen. I have no idea. Yes, but one of the staff we Why can't we see who he's talking to? They're using some kind of coded signal. I can't track the source or get a visual. Keep trying. Let me explain. Our ships were in hiding behind the asteroid, preparing to ambush Commander Rayner's shuttle, when suddenly a Federation starship appeared on our scopes. We listened in on their communications and learned that the starship had been dispatched to escort Commander Rayner and the artifact in his possession to their destination. We moved to intercept, but the shuttle had docked before we began our attack. We managed to cripple the ship, but they had sent out a distress call. Despite these setbacks and our heavy casualties, we were still close to victory. But then the ship just... vanished. The artifact was left adrift in space, but as I said, one of their shuttles beamed it away. Okay, I've heard enough. Helm, bring us within weapons range. Com, open a channel. Attention! This is Commodore Queen of the Starship Darwin. You will power down your vessel and prepare to be boarded. You won't take us alive. We'll see about that. Fine. Sir, we've received a message from Admiral Allenby. Long-range scans from Matu Alpha have detected a subspace anomaly. We've been ordered to investigate. I see. We will alter course as soon as possible. Space. Normal space. Open a channel. This is... This is Alan Rayner. Rayner, you're alive. What happened? It's, it's a long story. I see. Suffering from radiation exposure. Need treatment. We can run you through a full decontamination. Th thank you. Energize. Tow the ship back to Natu Alpha. I guess that's good. Well then. There's a lot of people out there who have many questions wanting answered. Gath Ministry, Admiral Allen B, Governor Schuster, even myself, we're all just wondering what happened out there. I guess the whole thing began over a year ago, right after I left Outpost 3. 
Hold it, Kyle. You haven't been gone a year. You've been gone only four months. What? What? I... I, I guess... I guess time must pass differently in that dimension, but... What? Relax, Helen. Just take it slow. Start from the beginning. Right. So... I had just left Outpost 3. I had that, that, that artifact with me. You know, the, the one Bolivax tried to steal. The Heaven's Gate. And Legend said it could open a portal to the afterlife. Starfleet wanted to protect the artifact, so they sent the Starship Falcon to transport it the rest of the way to Natu Alpha. Captain Nond asked me to stay on board to help with security. Turns out they needed it. There are too many of them. Send out a distress call. We are losing life support. All hands abandon ship. While most of the crew headed for the escape pods, I headed for the science lab to save the artifact. I guess somehow it became active because the next thing I knew, the whole ship was swallowed up by a blinding light. <laughs>